Hello, and welcome to this AI book writing tutorial. In just this video, you will go from not having an idea on what you're writing to a fully finished book, completely free in less than an hour. Now the steps here can be taken and applied to any book that you may be writing, whether it's nonfiction or fiction. Um, and in order to do this, we first need an idea. So we will go over to chatgpt.com and you will open up a new chat and ask it something like, give me 10 nonfiction book ideas. And the one that ca caught my eye the most was number three, mind over task, mastering focus in a distracted world. I think this one would be very fun to, to write a book about. So I'm going to copy this title and go over to dibbly.com slash create. This is the tool that we will be using to actually write the book. You can edit, format, research other books and export your book all in one spot. It's very nice for what we're trying to do. So just go over there. You could go down to the pricing and check out the free plan. You will quickly find out that the 20,000 tokens that they're offering is really not a lot. So I recommend signing up for the seven day free trial. This will give you 1 million tokens, which is a substantially larger amount and will let you generate an entire book for free. So we will, Go over to create.dibly.com after registering for an account and signing up for the free trial and then you will be met with this screen here on this screen you will want to click on new project on this screen you can either open a new note add new sections in each note or section you could start writing so i could say introduction to my book about focusing i can highlight that text I could bold it, italic, I could change the text color, the background color, and then I could use AI tools such as rewrite, grammar correction, continue writing, change the point of view if I was writing a fiction book. Um, so just for an example, I'll go continue writing and I'll say expand on this introduction and give it a couple seconds. It will create a whole big, big chapter of an introduction for you that after it finishes, you can insert and then you could edit each bit of the text, add sections, remove sections, do whatever you want and kind of piece together your own book by hand. Now this is a great way to make a book if you'd like, but the method that we're gonna to use today is a little bit more automated. We will go up to the top right in this little Kip robot icon and this will take us to the screen of all these different tabs. Now you can go to the research tab and um, research other books that are very similar to the one that you're making. You will be able to see what other people um, like and don't like about those books. But for now, I'm just going to write an outline of my book. So I know the book title is Mind Over Task, Mastering Focus in a Distracted World. We want the book to be for adults and it will be a nonfiction book. A book is typically like eight to 12 chapters. So we will go eight, just on the lower end and number of wood words would be like 25,000. 25,000 words is like roughly 130 or so pages. And genre book will be self-help. The main topic will be focus and the explanation of the book can be something like um, master the ability to focus in a world of distractions. Unlock your willpower to um, complete the tasks you need to do when surrounded by entertainment. Perfect. And I will click generate and give it a few minutes and I will get back to you once it has finished. All right, here we go. 38,213 tokens later, and we have an entire outline for a book, like truly an entire outline. It goes through the manuscript, it goes through the objectives, um, and then it goes through the tar target audience, why the audience will read the book, the style and tone, the competition, and then um, once you get down here, it'll go through the chapters. It'll go through the introduction and then chapter one and each chapter it'll have a summary and then sub points and then each sub point will have bullet points and then it does this for each and every chapter. 
at the very end of each chapter, there are potential links that were used to do the research on the stuff that was generated in the outline itself. So these links can be incorporated into the book if you want to cite your sources or if you want to use them in some other way or just to check them and see what kind of information is in there to see if it's accurate. But it is a very, very powerful tool that AI can literally skim the entire internet and write an entire book outline in just a couple minutes. So then we can go ahead and save to project and you will click new note. I'm not going to do section yet because section is where the actual book will be. So I want to wait until the actual finalized version of the book before I save it to the section. Um, I will write outline for my book. Save that to note. Saved. Beautiful. All of it is right here. Now, the next step is actually writing the book. So I will go back up to the Kip Generate and I will click on Content Writer instead of Outline. Once I click on Content Writer, it will want me to add in the topic and the tone and um, all of this information. But since I don't have the chapter outline, I have to go back to my outline, scroll down to the first chapter, understanding distractions, and go ahead and copy this entire outline that it gave me. Except the links though, don't copy the links. And I will go back over to Content Writer. I will click on chapter, nonfiction, chapter type, normal, word count. Let's do 3000 to, well, let's do math. 3,000 times eight chapters is 24,000 words per chapter or per, okay, per book. Awesome. So then I will paste it into the chapter outline. I want the tone to be objective, the writing style to be narrative. Target audience is adults that want to become focused in a world of distractions. So then all you do is click generate content and it will take a few minutes. But again, I will cut back to when this has finished up. Now that it is generated, we can press save to project again, but this time we are going to save to section. And right now you could title it or you could title it later. But since this is an introduction, we could just title it as introduction and press save to section. And then you can go and X this and say, yes, exit. So I will repeat the same steps to generate the rest of my remaining chapters. All right, I finished generating my chapters and now I could go ahead and start formatting them. The first step is to delete this line that says understanding distractions. This is the title for the chapter, but when I generated the title and saved it to each section, I just wrote down the title up top. So you can delete this line and then delete the line that says total tokens used and then press control A to highlight the text and then justify a line. This is the format that you'll want to use for books. And the next step is to read through each chapter and proofread it to make sure the content is accurate and what you want. And then maybe adding your own sections, adding your own touch and kind of making it your own book go ahead and do this for each chapter, your introduction and your conclusion. And once you're happy with your book, it's time to export it. And to do that, you will press the top right corner, the three little dots, and go ahead and press export V2. This will open up the export page where you can select a template to um, format your book. And on the right side, it'll give you a little example on what it will, it will look like to readers. You could go ahead and change that or if you didn't like either of these default ones, you can go up to new template and make the book exactly how you want it. The only thing that we will need to do in the um, settings right here is add a title and an author name, but we can select the basic um, template and then go to configure options to do so. So we can add the title 
which is mind over task, mastering focus in a distracted world, and then the author will be in code XP. Um, that's all you need to do for the settings in order to export it. Okay, now that this is all done, we are going to go down to the export button and PDF is if you just want a big document that has your whole book and you could share this with others or just have it as your personal book. But if you wanna publish it online um, for, let's say you wanna publish it on Amazon, then you're gonna um, export it as an EPUB file. Go ahead and click export. It'll ask you to save it and then it'll download it. What you're gonna do next is head over to Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing if you want to publish your book online and start selling it on Amazon or any other retailing store. Um, you're gonna press create once you're here and then it will open up a page where you'll click create ebook and then you'll start filling in your information. So the book title will be Mind Over Task, Mastering Focus, and it's not a series, there's no editions. The author can just be in Code XP Workshop, for example. And then the description could just be something like, mm, dive into the science of focus, learn modern day tips to pour your attention into the things that matter, something like that. But you could make a whole long description. For publishing rights, click I own the copyright and I hold the necessary publishing rights. And no, there's no explicit images or title. Go ahead and select the age range. I'm guessing an eight year old might care about focus. And then you'll select the region that you want to upload your book to. And then you'll choose your categories. I will click self-help, time management, self-management, motivational. And you can add your keywords. You don't need to, but they will help boost your SEO rankings. So if you did like focus, time management, motivation, just stuff like that. And then you will press save and continue. Once this is saved, it'll direct you to the next page, which is the content. You will go ahead and press upload manuscript and upload that file that you just exported from Dibley. This will be your book. And then you will go down to the cover section. And I made a quick cover um, on my own just for the video. So I'll just press upload your cover file and click on my book cover but you could upload any JPEG image. You could find one online or you could make one. And then after your cover's uploaded, you will go to AI generated content. And since we did use Dibley to create this, we will press yes. And we will say entire work with extensive editing. And then we will say Dibley create no images, no translations. Okay, and then this uh, Kindle ebook preview will run a quality check. So we will just wait a couple minutes for that. The preview is done, we have our cover, and we have our manuscript. And then we will press save and continue. After this is done, you will then go to all of the pricing options. So these options can be customized individually you can kind of go through all of these and figure out what you want to do but you will just go and select the royalties that you want and then you'll list the price that you want to charge for the book and then it'll tell you the royalties and how much you'll get and after all this information is done then you will press public uh, publish your kindle ebook and that's it you have gone from just an idea with ChatGPT to generating the whole book with Dibley to then formatting it and exporting it to make it your own creation. And then you've went through all the steps to publish it on Kindle. And if 
it's a quality book and people like it, then you can start making money and start making some passive income this way. So this is a great way to generate a book with AI and I appreciate you guys for watching the video.